Yo, thank you, Skillshare, for the bread. Now, despite what a lot of y'all might think, I'm actually not huge on parties, okay? This coming from the guy who threw a YouTube party so big you got fined by the city of Anaheim. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, short, yes. I am the guy who got publicly in trouble with the law for throwing a party. Okay, fair. But how I actually feel about them is quite the contrary. It's just that compared to a bunch of people who draw in their rooms every day, a guy who might drink once or twice on the weekends might seem a little crazy, okay? Meet Cypher Den, post video upload, and then you can talk to me about people going crazy. True, she is nuts. Exactly. That aside, Mr. $1,000 fine, why exactly do you feel like this? Well, it's because things go wrong at parties, a lot. And especially if you're me, I, I'm starting to notice. Roll call, uh, a party was gonna leave me homeless in a state I didn't live in for a week. My girlfriend literally got punched at a party. And in the situation in this story, someone I'm with might be dead. So let's go ahead and throw the cops in that equation. And now I have even more things to fear uh, as a black man when around the cops. And now I have the decision to lose my life or my scholarship. So that's... That's, you know, yeah, I'm, let's just explain, I'm explain. All right, it's like my freshman year of college. More specifically, it's like my fourth day out here. Uh, I'm a collegiate baby. Fresh up on a track scholarship that allowed me to pay to go to college. And right now, me and my other new freshman college friends are getting ready for our first college party. Now the squad had about six people in it, but the important people in the story are me, my friend Harry, and especially my other friend, we'll call them Nami. Anyways, we leave the dorm and Harry and Nami are already quite gone for one harry was always a big drinker but not just of alcohol oh no he had just finished a beer and was prepping to drink three red bulls which is a bodily crime nami on the other hand was a whole different problem specific she had in her hand a bottle of wine which is just a normal crime especially considering we were underage that might be important later now i'm not gonna front on y'all like i was this completely innocent being okay uh, your boy's gone around the block a few times with the devil juice but something i didn't mention is that we're on the track team we had practice the next day so although i wanted to drink i didn't want to drink a ton again especially considering we're underage and if we get caught i lose the only reason i can afford going to college wait 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 a second didn't you make this video before? This sounds familiar. Well, I, well, okay, yeah, it, it is a redo of a video I did years ago. Dear God, look at that chin strap. Yeah, I, I know. Reusing ideas already, are we? Uh, okay, maybe a little, but I promise I'm retelling this story right now for a reason, trust me. Uh, anyways, uh, back to the story. Now we're starting to take off to go to the party and Harry types in the location in Google Maps. Meaning he seems to be the person who's going to be leading this group, which felt like the drunk and blind leading the blind. Maybe the dude who drinks Red Bull and alcohol the whole night shouldn't be the one in charge of where we need to go, because clearly he's going down a dark path of his own. But the alternatives were either Nami, who is actively committing two crimes right now as we're walking, or me, who is not good at confrontation at all. Harry gonna be the leader. I'd like to reiterate, it is like my fourth day out here. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, we set in for what the map says is a 20 minute trip whatever cool so we walk with harry and walk and walk and walk like like for a while which makes sense you know we're, we're heading to a party that was like 20 minutes away via foot i mean it's coming up in 18 minutes and i got a feeling we're still kind of far bruh and i swear we keep passing the same old house like it's been like three or so times now naturally the group's getting a little concerned but especially Nami, who has now finished her drink and is acting a bit more unruly, and she's breathing down Harry's throat about getting us there. Like, oh. So, out of curiosity and the safety of both of our lives, I go to Harry and ask to look at the map. He says, sure, and hands me the phone. And after looking at it, it says, out of the time remaining of our already 20 minute journey, we have 18 minutes left. Now look, I'm a YouTuber, okay? Neither math nor time management are skills I know a lot about. But I can tell you now, if we walk for almost 20 minutes and the map says we have 18 minutes left to go, something's amiss, all right? It can't be that hard to follow a literal arrow on your screen telling you where to go. Anyways, I reluctantly reveal this to the group and Nami ain't too pleased. Yo, she slaps the Red Bulls out of his hand, calls him a bitch, and takes the phone to guide us there herself. I just got to college and I'm already learning things. Like how I don't know where we are anymore because 
because I'm so discombobulated from going in circles this entire time. But in truth, I never truly did. I'd like to reiterate, it's my fourth day out here. I wear my keys around my neck. I do not know what's going on. And oddly enough, I don't think these people I'm with do either especially nami who is on a steady pace for a drunken disorderly bro maybe she should chill out for the rest of the night it is not that deep now you wouldn't think all that would end up mattering but it did probably more than anything else that happened that night but you'll see why so eventually we get to the party and everyone's doing their thing harry's mingling with some upperclassmen on the track team who just happened to be at the party and nami is drinking everything in existence. Homegirl was a black hole and people are passing her drinks left and right. She's throwing them down better than I've seen anyone ever do it, which is especially wild concerning we have practice tomorrow. Maybe she shouldn't be getting this lady knowing we got to run laps like in the morning. So like a good teammate, I go up to her. I'm like, yo, um, you okay? I think I should slow down a bit maybe. And not a second later, she takes the beer that she was drinking and starts pouring it on me. Like trying to get it into my mouth. Like, yo, yo, what's that? Yo, the chill. I came here to help you not make me drink. It's my fourth day out here. She says, come on, loosen up, Kurt. Seems like you're trying to loosen our chances of staying on the team. Now, there are moments when you can tell someone is long gone. Like entered the eternal abyss of drank and that was Nami. I declined her offer and she goes off to doing her business. I'm very much concerned at this point, like very much so. Now the night goes on and I've relaxed a little bit. I've had a couple of drinks. I'm a little, 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 little loosey goosey and things are like at their peak, but that's all about to change very soon. See, all of a sudden I hear some kind of commotion. This guy brushing through the crowd with something on his shoulders, screaming. Yo, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's carrying a person uh oh it's a girl over his shoulders and she's limp like if i look too quickly i thought he was holding a sack of potatoes like it was putty on his shoulders bro it, she was spilling over i pushed to the crowd to get a closer look and one of the older members of the track team that harry was talking to earlier was holding them and that person was nami uh okay he took nami and put her on the curb and laid her down and she just spilled onto the concrete like I just dropped the drink. Oh my God, is she dead? A group slowly begins to form around this girl and the vibe starts to get a little darker. We all get pretty close and yeah, she's like gone, laying on the concrete. This isn't really looking good. I don't know if this is now the perfect time to talk about why this video is a remake. Considering I made that video while I was still in college, it wasn't in, say, the best interest for me to, you know, broadcast crimes that would get me in trouble, you know what I'm saying? So I'd much rather do something I'm really familiar with, uh, lie to everyone, than lose scholarship, you know, like, inconsequential here. So that's why I'm making it now, and I doubt the school can do much. Like, what are y'all gonna do? Like, take away my degree? I don't even use it anyway. I mean, honestly, y'all can have that back. So the upper class one that was holding Nami, screams just screams to the crowd she's not moving the cops are coming run now as a 24 year old now and in hindsight she definitely was just passed out but at that moment all logic and reason was thrown out the window for everyone now what i wanted to do is that i wanted to stay and, and help my friend i mean she's passed out on the ground but there's this thing called mob mentality i look around and upon him saying that everyone dips everyone's gone everyone has sprinted away like the alley was going to explode and what do you do in that situation this is my friend i feel responsible I, but i also wanted to run i'm not gonna lie when everyone starts running you run too take another look around and no one from my group is even there anymore harry's dipped with everyone else only people there were nami and the two upperclassmen who were there with her i didn't know what to do again fourth day out here i scheduled 7 a.m willingly I had no idea what I was doing, but that was okay because the upperclassman holding Nami just gave me a look that said, get out of here. So I did. <laughs> uh, so you ran away leaving her there. Okay, I feel a little bad 
in hindsight, okay? Leaving your drunk friend with two random people, never a good idea. But I actually did know them decently well. From the days on the track team, I knew they'd take care of her. So I figured since they said it was cool, it was fine that I left. The only thing that you left was your integrity. Well, I, well they said it was cool. Besides, if I got caught with the cops, I'd have to make that decision I was talking about earlier between my life and a scholarship, which I wasn't really trying to make at the time. So I'm falling behind the big mom and we're all tailing in high gear. And I hear cop cars coming, like a lot of cop cars coming. I dip down an alley and I follow everyone running from the commotion. But as we're running, I realized I have no idea where home is. Remember when I said Harry took us in like a complete circle? My orientation of where home is, is completely screwed up. And I'm 20 minutes away and I'm Liddy and it's my fourth day out here. I don't know where I live. I really felt like giving up there, but I decided to just follow the swarms of kids. Just follow the swarms of underage kids. I mean, some of them had to stay in the dorms, right? I get out of there brushing past people, tripping and falling, and still have no idea where I'm at. I start to panic. I go over and sit in the corner of a house while flashing cop cars are still buzzing around. I didn't know what to do until Yo, I saw three Red Bull cans on the ground, right in the corner of the grass. Well, I'll be damned. Harry's Red Bulls. As we had gone in circles, I knew exactly where home was from this route. From there, I had enough of my senses to get back to the crib. I was relieved. The next day of practice, everyone seemed fine, even Nami. Even though she was struggling, she was okay. Now, granted, I think we all overreact. Like usually that type of thing is not that big of a deal at a party. People passing out is pretty normal, but man, what an impression it made. And to this day, I still feel a ways about parties. <laughs> now that all aside, you know what wasn't okay? Me being in college, learning about something I didn't really care about for a lot of money. Well, thankfully with this video's sponsor, Skillshare, I can learn for a good price and still manage to drink in my own house. So it really covers all your bases. See, if you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real products to create, and the support of fellow creative, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish some real growth. <laughs> Yeah, and most likely in a field that you probably actually care about. From photography, art, writing, and more, Skillshare really has it all. Skillshare has been a partner with this channel for quite some time. And surprisingly enough, it's because they've continued to be a good product for quite some time. It's helped my craft immensely and is yet to hurt my wallet or me yet. So I'm big down with it. For example, me personally, I consistently keep coming back to storytelling 101, character conflict, context, and craft. It's generally helped me build my stories. Not to mention Skillshare, unlike other courses, isn't expensive because an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. But you better get on because only the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So do it with the quickness. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You're as good as the boy Kurt. I am so sorry there is no face cam. Once again, I am dying. Not even because of a lot of work, it's because of poor time management. But we know it isn't poor. Uh, all the patrons, thank you guys for <laughs> all the help and support. Please check out the Patreon if you wanna see more videos like this. Um, Yo, if you like this video, please check out the last one they're pretty much all the same when it comes to these bad tales <laughs> just you know you get a different take um other than that i really don't have that much to say this time around except i want to keep putting out more content and stuff oh and the that that one video did really good but i think we talked about that already uh i'm really tired i love y'all thank you uh i hope you guys are doing good hope you guys are having a good 2021 uh and that's all i got much love see you guys next time peace